What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your GM40 guitar amplifier. This is the perfect guitar amp for live performances, solo or band rehearsals, recording setups and much more. So as you can see it comes with the guitar amp itself along with a foot pedal that we can plug into the back of the amp through the foot switch input. So now to connect my guitar to the amp, I'm going to need a quarter inch cable. I'm gonna take one end and plug it into the guitar itself. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the quarter inch input on my amp. So now I can go ahead and turn on my G amp. Then I'm gonna to wanna to raise this volume knob here near the input. Then I'm gonna go ahead and raise my master volume knob. So now I can go ahead and raise the volume on my guitar. So if I go ahead and play, you should be able to hear it coming out of the amp. So now we can really dial in the sound of the amp using the bass, mid, and treble knobs. The bass knob will affect the low end frequencies from the amp. The mid knob covers all the mid range frequencies or the body of the sound. And finally, the treble knob will affect all of the high end frequencies. Now these EQs will affect both the clean channel and the overdrive channel. Now to activate overdrive, we can use the channel select on the amp or we could use the included foot switch. Before you do that though, you'll just want to be sure to raise this gain knob here and then the volume knob right next to that to hear the overdrive come through the amp. So let's hear how the overdrive sounds. So to activate the overdrive through the foot switch, we'd want to press the one button, and then to get back to the clean channel, we'll want to press the two button. We can actually have both buttons on to hear the overdrive channel as well, and it will also make it easier for us to switch between the channels for louder or softer parts of our song. So for example, I have my overdrive here, with them both on, and then if I turn off the one, quickly brings us back to the clean channel. Another important thing to note is that when we have the foot switch plugged in, the channel select button won't work since we're using the foot switch to switch between channels. Now the GM40 also comes with a lot of really cool effects. Starting with the spring reverb here, this is going to add a lot of ambience to your sound. So if I raise the knob here and start playing around, Right above that we have our effects knob that we can use to switch between four different effects including chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo. Turning the knob clockwise through each effect will increase the speed and the depth of the effect. So starting with our chorus effect. Real nice. Moving on to the flanger. Oh yeah. Next we got our phaser here. Real trippy. And next we have our tremolo. Nice. We also have a separate delay and reverb knob here. So as we turn this knob clockwise through its first half, it will increase the time in between the repeated or delayed note. So for example, if I have it set just a little bit up, I play a note, you get the quicker delay, and as I move it up, the time in between the notes will be much longer, so. Now the other half acts as a digital reverb that gives our sound even more ambience. So then we start to affect the tail and the size of the reverb as we turn this knob. Here's a demo of that reverb. Now the GM40 even allows us to connect a microphone to the amp using the quarter inch mic input. So I'm gonna need my microphone and my quarter inch to female XLR cable. I'm gonna take the XLR end and plug it into my microphone. Then I'm gonna take the quarter inch end and plug it into the quarter inch mic input. Next I'm gonna wanna raise the level knob and then I'm gonna wanna make sure my master volume is raised as well. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should hear my voice coming through the amp. We also have an echo knob here that gives our voice an echo effect. So now this is a really cool setup because we can play guitar and sing through the amp at the same time. Above that we have the quarter inch headphone jack that we can use so we can practice privately. And this will cut off any noise coming out of the amp itself because it will then come out of your headphones. 
We can use the master volume on the amp to control the volume coming out of our headphones. We also have an MP3 module underneath the display screen. We can use this to control the music coming from the built-in FM radio, the SD or USB sources we can plug into the amp, as well as music coming from the Bluetooth device that we can pair to the amp. To do that, we'll wanna set the amp to Bluetooth pairing mode using this mode button here. Then we'll wanna go into the Bluetooth settings of your smartphone or tablet, look for the device that reads G-Amp40 and click on it to pair. And you'll know your device is connected when you hear those chimes. This is great for practicing your guitar or vocals along with a backing track playing from your Bluetooth device. We can also use these buttons here underneath the display to control our music playback. Oh yeah. this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your GM40 guitar amplifier. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.